Sonya did it. <laughs> there is a bone. I'm hoping it's not human. That is something we should probably be concerned about. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. I am here in New Jersey doing some magnet fishing with Scuba Sonia. Now it's been a while since we've done some fishing out in this area and last time she was here she found a magazine, a scooter, a skateboard, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we can find today and get this rope in the water. <laughs> and on my first find of the day, I've got a winter yo-yo. I have not seen a yo-yo or used a yo-yo in the longest time. Definitely never found one magnet fishing. That's a good way to start. <laughs> yeah, last time I found the key. Her YouTube is Scuba Sonia as well. Scuba Sonia? Yep. Got only muck. What is this? Oh, yeah. Just a little flake off of something it looks like. Oh, I got a knife. I got, it looks almost like a swift Swiss army knife or something. I also got this giant bolt. The bottom to a can. I got two AA batteries and a Mystic cap. What did you just find over here? I found a shell casing. Look at that. And a bottle cap, but this time I had a bottle attached. Got yourself a wheel. Yeah. With that, I've got the peg to a bicycle. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely a little cash drawer. Yeah. Five dollars, fives, tens, twenties. Look at drawer. that. <laughs> that is awesome. Is that a coin? That is. That's a you coin. Just found metal. There's more money in here. Look. There's another penny in here. I shouldn't have dumped that over there. Hold that. There's two stuck in here. That's wild. Are they stuck stuck or are we able to go? They're stuck stuck, but there's more here. <laughs> I shouldn't have dumped it. I, know. I messed up. Here's another coin. So that's two coins up and out. I wonder if we get the date on them. 1994. It's hard to see them because they're so mucky. And after all that, Sonya came up with seven pennies. <laughs> Heck yeah. You got yeah. yourself a wheel. Yeah. Got a coin. <laughs> got a woman on it. Canada. <laughs> Looks like I've got part of what would have been a reflector from a bicycle. And another one of those pieces like Sonya did with a broken bottle on the bottom. Oh, well, according to this cap, the oldest known animal, it was a tortoise, and it lived to be 152 years old. And that's where I got myself a piece of a bike chain, guys, a battery, and the silver thing. Let's take this off and see what it is. Sonya thinks it looks like a battery. I do too, but this little top part is just different. I've never seen anything like that. I'm wondering if it screws open or something. It's got a number. It was made in the USA. I'm actually going to take this home and see what this is for you guys. And Sonia's got her third showcasing of the day. Mm-hmm. And this is actually the second peg that we found. It is the same color as the first one. This has to have gone to the same bike. <laughs> nice. Half of it. Old flip phone. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. This looks like the top of an old fence or something, guys. It's actually pretty cool. I might take this home and use it as a little decoration with all our bottles and stuff. I got something shot. It's a tape measure. <laughs> a tape measure, another shell casing, and a lock. Look at that. It's like a file. Oh, master lock. Yeah. Combination lock. <gasps> I got another cold right, oh guys. My God, you would. <laughs> oh my god. You this... would. <gasps> Don't stay in there, stay in there. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't believe I just found another freaking cauldron. <laughs> I can't believe we just found another cauldron, guys. Let's go ahead and see what is inside of this thing. We've been finding so many of these. People are going to think we're playing. Oh, there's stuff in it. Really? We got a railroad spike. Now, we found these in the Detroit one as well. We got a railroad spike. Oh, there's more stuff. Um, I can't tell. what. I think this might just be a rock that's in there. I got another... Railroad spike in here. Another railroad spike. This thing's full of spikes. <laughs> <laughs> Another railroad spike. A horseshoe. Really? Yeah. This nice. A horseshoe, guys. Now, this one, I wonder if it's metallic. Uh, um, 
magnetic. Uh, some people had commented on the last one that we'd found in Detroit that they were made out of aluminum. I'm curious if this one is, but we got a horseshoe. We got another railroad spike. <laughs> A bone? That's a bone. Alright, now I'm getting kind of creeped out, guys. There is a bone. It's a little bone. It kind of looks like a chicken wing bone. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not human. That is something we should probably be concerned about. <laughs> yeah. It's like a finger bone. A little piece of plastic cup but so you guys i think that's it i'm gonna go ahead and pour this out over here off the path so it's not causing a mess everywhere i promise that the last one we clean that up as well but let's see if there's anything else by pouring it out perfect time i don't see anything else what an absolute crazy find guys that is the jason found the first three sonia found that fourth one and i found the fifth one they just keep coming up put it back put it back no. I just found somebody's keys. It looks like there's a picture. I'm not going to show the picture of the person, but there is a, a school picture of someone on here. It doesn't say what school or anything. It just says love you on it. Let's see the back. Oh, this is to Pathmark Advantage Club. It says if found, place in US, any US mailbox, Pathmark Stores, Inc. 200 Millick Street. New Jersey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Got myself an old little burner phone. It doesn't have a battery in it, so I definitely think it was used for a burner phone, but second phone today. Sonya found the first one. I got the second one. Ooh. Yeah, look at that knife. Love my Sharpies. It's <laughs> a good one. Bamboozled. It's a radio. <laughs> first thing I found over there was a radio. Another knife. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there's stuff inside. Are we gonna open that? There's paper in there. There's stuff growing in there too. Look at that. Can you guys see in there? This could be urine and hot sauce. Gross. What is that? Oh, it smells funky. Is that an onion? That's an egg. An egg? What the hell? And all that was in it, guys, was an egg and seaweed. That's creepy. I was walking the bridge area over here and I was dipping, and earlier Sonia found the bottom to a cash box. I actually found the top hat to the lockbox. And there's also a bone inside, and it was kind of over where the cauldron was found at. So I'm gonna keep throwing in that area and see if we can find more of that. Maybe some of the cauldron stuff fell out when we were picking stuff up. Guys, I just pulled this in, and the craziest thing, there's actually a penny, a US penny, stuck up underneath of a piece of other metal. We can find a decent amount of money today. Sonia found that cash box, I found the top to it. Sonia just found a golf club, let me show you guys. <laughs> nice. USA. I didn't even realize on the throw that I had found a watch as well. It says Nine West on it. Let me show you guys up close. I got myself a bullet. Not sure how big of a bullet it is. I don't know much about guns or bullets. And it looks like I've got like an AT&T antenna or something to an old phone. On that throw, I got myself a hard drive. I found a few of these. I wonder what was on this. And with that find, it looks like I've got an earring. I also have a cap and a battery. With that, I've got a flathead screwdriver, a spark plug, and a Duracell battery. The satellite base. It says it on there. Satellite 7-Eleven base. I thought it was topped to a gun for a second. Me too. This thing's heavy too. Got a tire iron. So we had found one of these a few minutes ago as well. So now we got two of these. And I got a set of car keys. Got yourself a wrench. <laughs> I got a speaker over here, at least with the remnants of a speaker. I found some bigger ones of these in Flint before, but this is the first little one I've ever found. Sonya did it. Oh, ho, ho. Old revolver? Oh, that's pretty new revolver. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe he called it. She literally had just said that she was gonna find it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 
And Sonia literally just called right before this that this is gonna be the one she finds one. Absolutely oh. nuts. We're gonna have to call on that one. Yes. Um, so my name's Sonia. I'm a magnet fisher and I throw a large magnet into bodies of water and we pull trash out. We actually happened to pull out a pistol, a revolver, and I was oh, right. wondering if someone could come and pick it up. She stated that she found a, um, a gun inside a lake of Brunswick Park. Okay, uh, where's she in? Do you have her information? She's in the phone. I'm on, the, I'm on the line. Hi ma'am, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, you found a firearm? Yes, we're magnet fishing. We have a large magnet that we throw in the water and we pulled it out with the magnet. Okay, uh, ma'am, we're going to send an officer over, okay? Can you just stand there for a few minutes? Sure, no problem. All right, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Bye-bye. Right. Well, that was us over here. We're filming for a YouTube officer. I can blow your face. And do no, no, you, you could do okay, officer. I just want to make sure everyone be rude. Officer Rodriguez, badge 291, Essex County Sheriff. Awesome. So what happened, ma'am? We were magnet fishing. We pulled that out. Okay. Looks fairly newish, but it's been in the water. Just give me a few, I'm gonna go secure it, then I'm just gonna have to write down your information and stuff like that, and then we'll go from there, okay? okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. If you could come with me to the other side. Yeah. yeah. Like recover uh, property, mm -hmm. and that's I just got. That's why I need your information for. Okay? Sounds good. And if somebody contacts you, they, they, they might our detective might contact you just to uh, figure out how you did it. Okay. Uh, you're not the first one that uh, recovered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we found quite a few yes. over our time. Now, in a couple other states that we've done this in, we've been able to call in after the fact, and if it wasn't stolen or reported used in a crime, yeah. there's a claim process. Yeah, not here. Here. <laughs> Welcome to Newark. <laughs> any, any weapon is supposed to be immediately reported. Yep. Yeah. Especially in these type of areas where you got kids, that, you know, yeah. families coming around. 100%. Yeah, I've got some buddies that got lucky and they got them now, got them back and got them registered in their name. Really. So basically, you were fishing? Yeah, we were pulled fishing. Up. It was probably somewhere in this area. No problem. And we just pulled it up with my All right, if you find anything else, please let us know, okay? Yeah, we'll Thank you. Have a beautiful right, day. Thank you, officers. Right, I appreciate you, you guys. guys. All right, guys, so as you saw, the police have come and gone now. Sonia got number seven. Congrats, oh, yeah. Sonia. That is going to be all for today's episode, guys. What a freaking day out here magnet fishing. We found that cauldron that had freaking railroad spikes and horseshoes in it. We found like three sets of keys. Sonia found those two knives. She found that colt, which was definitely the find of the day. She found that cash box. I could go on and on and on. You guys saw it all. I know you guys are gonna love this video. I, I know I love this video. So without further ado, if you guys like today's video, make sure you guys hit subscribe and get those alerts turned on. Also follow me over on TikTok. I've got a huge following over there as well. And I would love to have you guys over there. You can find me at Michigan Magnet Man on TikTok. If you guys are not subscribed to Scuba Sonia, make sure you guys subscribe to Scuba Sonia as well and follow her on TikTok as well. I'll see you guys next week. Blah, blah, blah.